Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. Today we are talking about a very juicy topic and that is how to find your style. And why is it important to have a style as an artist? I've been thinking about it a lot and I kind of started relating it to Target because if you've noticed in the last few years, Target has now removed their lettering off of all their buildings and just have their logo now. And it's because they're now noticed as this brand and identity through only their logo. They don't need those words anymore. They don't need to spell out Target because they're known. And that's what it's like when artists finally have a style. People will see it and they don't need to see their name because they already know that's from that artist. And that's kind of that big accomplishment and aha, finally moment when you get your style. Let's talk about what I've done over the last two years to kind of refine and develop my style and two steps that will help you find your style. The two steps that will help you find your style and what I did to develop my style is one, you're gonna study three to five artists and we're gonna break down what you need to study from these artists. And then the second step is you're gonna pick a landscape or whatever it is that you like to draw or paint and you're gonna do that multiple times going through what you have found and dissected from your favorite artist. So let's talk about the first step and that is studying your favorite artist. And the reason I say pick three to five of your favorite artists is because if you only pick one or two, you're gonna end up pretty much just copying their style. And that's not what you wanna do, okay? You have to pick three to five other artists because you're gonna kind of pick little things from these other artists to then pull into your pot. I kind of think of it like a soup, right? And let's say you like this chef's soup and this chef's soup, and you're gonna pull a little bit from each into your own pot, pot to kind of create your style. So how do you study another artist? I've come up with five different things you need to look at when you're looking at your favorite artist. So the first thing is color. You might be drawn to artists that use bright, vivid colors, or you might be drawn to an artist that desaturates their colors a little more by using complementary colors and more muted tones. Find out what are you being drawn to? What are your favorite artists using for their color palettes? And that will already start to influence your own style because color sets the mood for your entire painting. Second is, is your artist, I'm gonna relate this to painting because that's what I do and I'm assuming you're painting as well. So let's talk about the actual paint and applying it. Is your artist using thick paint and thick brush strokes to where you're getting a lot of texture or are they diluting the paint and painting mostly translucent where you're seeing through the layers and developing um, more depth that way? It's, there's all these different styles, and so you have to really start to dissect how are the artists I'm liking painting? Is it opaque or is it more translucent? The next thing is looking at their shapes and their forms. How are their edges being defined? And this kind of relates to also their materials. Are they using a flat square brush or are they using a rounded brush? You know, what type of brush are they using? Are they getting more organic curved lines or are they getting these very geometric straight strokes? For me, I tend towards liking the more geometric and I use more squared off brushes. I very rarely, if almost ever, use a round brush because that's not the style that I like. Although I do follow and in my three to five artists that I love, have a few artists that use brown brush strokes, but that's not the part of their art I love. I might like their art because of their color palette and that's why they're on my list. So as you're going through this list, also know that you're not gonna check off every one of these and love your artist for all of these check marks. And so that's how you're also developing your style because 
one artist you might like how they use their color and the next you're gonna like the brush stroke they use and so combining that together starts to develop your style and you're not copying okay other thing to look at is composition notice the composition on your favorite artists and that was something i noticed early on that really helped develop my style is seeing what kind of directional lines and the foreground, your middle ground, your background, is your artist using rule of thirds? And just setting up the composition in general is gonna make a huge difference in how your style is developed. So look at the composition and study it. And last but not least is we kind of talked about it with the shape and the form and edges, but materials. Materials play a huge role. Do you like acrylic paint or oil or watercolor or gouache? And are your artists intermixing? You can use watercolor and gouache and even acrylic all together. And so kind of find out, research, study, what materials are your artists using? And again, the brush is gonna make a huge difference with the style and mood it creates, whether you're using round or a squared brush. So once you've studied your artist and gone through all of those check marks, then we're gonna go on to the next step. But before we do that, I wanted to show you really fast how I would do this process. So I really love Jess Frank's art, but there's things that I obviously wouldn't do on my own, but one of the things I love that she does is her layering of very translucent layers. And it's something I'm still working towards trying to incorporate into my artwork because I do like still using thick, thicker paint and making it op opaque to where you can't see through, but she does it so beautifully with acrylics that you can see through her layers and she develops these beautiful shadows. I love that with Jess Frank's work. But now compare it to Laurie Ann who uses all opaque and is using acrylic too. They're both using acrylics. We're using the same material, same medium, but one artist is using it completely different than the other. Laurieann uses thicker paints and kind of has these nice round brush strokes all over, layers it on, gets this beautiful texture. Jess Franks doesn't have that texture because she's going thin. Laurieann has lots of texture. Looking at the two, you start to kind of pick little things from them, what you're liking, what you're not liking, and trying to find out, you know, I'm gonna bring this into my pot, I'm gonna bring this into my pot, and that's gonna start to develop your own style. Let's go on now to the next step. Step two is finding an image. For me, again, it's landscape, so I took some beautiful pictures just last week um, up in Michigan of Michigan Lake with the, the beach and the coast. And I've actually been doing this in my sketchbook just even recently, taking an image and doing it multiple times. I'm not just saying like one or two, I'm saying like seven to 10 times, doing it over and over. And what you're gonna do each time is take those things that you studied and found out what you like from these artists into these paintings that you're starting to paint now. You're not gonna go and sell these. This is how you're gonna start to develop your style. You're gonna do one painting and you're gonna focus maybe on an artist's color palette you love. And you're gonna try and stick closely to that artist's color palette while maybe you love this artist and how they have geometric brush stroke and it's very, very squared off. And you're gonna pull that and this color palette into this painting. Now, you're not copying an artist's style because you're picking a few different things and now creating your own. Also, bring in your own flares into this. You could do that with your three or five artists all into one painting. Now, on the second one, choose a different artist's color palette or choose to use more opaque or more translucent with your paints and your brush strokes. Each time, you're gonna kind of start to incorporate all of these things that you've been studying into these paintings. And the more you do that, the more your style is gonna develop and just start to come naturally. Again, I kind of really, at the very beginning, loved the geometric and the squared off brush look. And so that's kind of where my style has just continued to develop and develop. So decide first 
who's your favorite artist and really, really study them. That's the only way you're gonna get better and then start to implement what you love about each of those artists. Don't implement everything from one artist. Implement 10% from this artist, 10% from this artist, 10% from this artist, and eventually you're making up 100% of all these different things, but it's become your own style and you're not copying and it's now how you, you have your own style. Let's summarize these two steps. So the first one was study three to five artists, go through their color palettes, go through how they're painting. Is it opaque? Is it translucent? Is it transparent with watercolor? Look at their shapes, their forms, their edge marks. Look at their composition. And lastly, find out what materials they're using. And then you're gonna take that into step two and take one subject matter and paint it over and over and over using all of these little things you have found that you love and incorporating it into your own paintings. Know that your style does take time. Again, I would say over these last two years, starting at the very beginning, my style has jumped leaps and bounds in two years because I was just kind of starting out playing with acrylics. I had done oil in college and watercolor, but I had never done acrylic. And so over these two years, I've seen huge, huge improvements with it. But I also don't think now at this point, two years from now, it's gonna be that dramatic of a change because I've been refining it more and more. And so it just slightly continues to change and evolve. And so know your style is never just gonna be stagnant. You don't want it to be. You always want it to be changing and improving slightly. But also know that at the beginning, you'll probably see a lot more progress than what you do as you continue to grow and grow as an artist. Let me know what you have been doing to develop your style and what else you'd like to see. Give it a thumbs up and follow along and I will see you guys next time.